Hey, outside the Capitol building, Congress members from California, New York, and Illinois announced the reintroduction of the renewing immigration provisions of the Immigration Act from back in 1929. This would provide a pathway to citizenship for millions of undocumented immigrants who were in the U.S. before, and this is key, before the year 2015. Joining us now to talk about it is Democratic Congressman Luke Correa from Santa Ana. He serves as ranking member of the House Border Security Subcommittee. He reintroduced that legislation, and he's live in Washington tonight. Congressman, great to see you. Good evening. How are you doing today? Doing well. Um, if you can explain in the most simple terms what exactly this immigration bill does. We're trying to simply keep um, the American economy as the strongest as it can be, make sure we check on inflation. We need workers. This is about keeping America strong. This immigration bill is as simple as it can get. A two-page bill simply changing the date of what we call the registry law that was actually written in 1929. Everybody talks about, you know, all kinds of strange things hidden in bills. But what we decided to do was immigration reform by changing a simple date on the registry which is right now anybody who came into the United States before 1972, before 1972, can apply for change of status. In a long time, 50 years. What we want to do is change that date to 2015. So anybody that came in before 2015 can apply for change in status. Can apply, meaning they still have to go through a rigorous background check, make sure they're not criminals, make sure they pay their taxes, follow the law, and then maybe they can apply and actually obtain a change in, regist in, in their status. All right, so people who hear this, and these people may have gone through the legal immigration process themselves, we know it's a complex process, it's a very lengthy process, they hear this and they say, well, you know what, I had to do this, and these uh, individuals will, will essentially cut the line. What do you say to that? That's absolutely incorrect. A lot of these individuals have been here for 30 years. The problem is there is no line. You can't get in, period. And what we're trying to do right now is give people a pathway to get in. Now remember, this is not just about farm workers. Today, 50%, 50% of farm workers are undocumented. You talk to Silicon Valley, executives need those trained workers as well so it's not about cutting the line it's about getting a shot at those that have earned the opportunity to live in the united states legally 25 30 years in the u.s without any opportunity for change of status that is absolutely wrong and it's un-american of course, there has not been major immigration reform in decades in this country because the it's been last hard to time put we together. had immigration reform Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan was, was pre president back in the 80s. Yeah, and that's and why and that's why even though right now we have Republican controlled Congress, I'm hopeful that Republicans like Ronald Reagan stepped up mm -hmm. will step up today and help us keep the American economy the strongest in the world. Yeah, of course, the Republican calculus has changed a lot since Ronald Reagan. It might be difficult for him to get the nomination these days based off of the way that politics has changed. Let's talk about another issue that I know you're passionate about, um, this idea of a family detention for people that are coming across the border. Um, there's been some talk about the Biden administration potentially bringing that policy back. I know that's something you're outspoken on. What's your take on all of that? I want to fix the refugee problem. Family detentions didn't work for Obama, they didn't work for Trump, and they are not going to work for the Biden administration. What works? Ukrainian model. Ukrainian refugees were at our border in Mexico just a few months ago. They set up a camp, the Mexican government set up a camp for those Ukrainian refugees. They came in, got themselves checked out physically. Title 42 was way for them. They got what's called a parole permit to come into the U.S. their way into the United States. Today, if you go to Tijuana, Mexico, there aren't any Ukrainian refugees. You know why? Because now those refugees are coming directly from Europe to the United States. That situation, you didn't have family detentions. What you had is an orderly system of helping those refugees. We can... 
Yeah, I believe we. Are, I think right say we can do that. Here. Yeah, we had yeah. a little bit of a hiccup there on your Zoom signal, but I think you were saying we can do this. Um, uh, we can do it again. Yeah, we can do it again, um, even if we can't necessarily get the best Zoom signal. Uh, so, Congressman, <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate. It. I think we got the key points there. Obviously, immigration is such an important and such a uh, an issue that arises so much passion, and we appreciate you sharing your perspective. We'll continue to work for Main Street and for California. All right. Thank you for your time and interest. Good to see you.